Okay, so today I've got a bit of an interesting one I want to talk about. Because um, I did a couple of TV show entries. I want to do a film entry. I've got a list of stuff I do want to kind of discuss. Whether it be modern or older related, say TV shows or films. And I'm trying to get to everything little by little. Uh, today I'm doing a couple of entries. And this is going to be the film entry for today. I want to talk about a very random film that was brought to my attention on Netflix. Now... For those of you who are big Netflix enthusiasts, you know that sometimes when you dive deep into that catalog on Netflix, you can find some really good hidden gems that don't really get a lot of publicity, I guess you can say. There's no real good marketing team for these films. Well, I'm going to be the marketing team for some of these films that I find, because I feel they I feel that they need a lot more praise for what they are, and they don't get enough attention because they're buried deep in the catalog. They're not, they don't have anybody in them that really matters. They're not the best when it comes to, say, the acting quality or anything, but they are tremendous stories that should be explored. The film I want to talk to you about today is from 2018 called Time Trap. Now, I know. That by itself kind of sounds like a dumb title in in and of itself. But when you sit down with this film and you give it a chance, it's kind of got this drawing thing to you where you, you, you are constantly asking questions. You are constantly looking for the answers while the film is going on, regardless of what they're doing on the screen. You're trying to figure it out all by yourself. Now, one of the things that I loved about the film is not only that attraction, but also just that I feel like it takes a good pace to really tell the story. And it really sets a good tone and follows a good pattern, whether or not like the acting is good, whether or not the characters are really doing justice to what they're trying to portray. If you follow it along and you're trying to figure things out, You'll never 100% know until they start to figure it out. So you'd still have to pay attention to the dialogue. You have to pay attention to what's happening to them. Because it is very, very bizarre of a portrayal of a, of a, a concept of two things put together. And I'm going to try to explain this without going into too much of the story, but a lot of it you'll get just from the name. It's about time travel, but not necessarily time travel, or at least how we've seen time travel. Most time travel involves a device or an amulet, you know, it's either Doctor Who time traveling, or it's, you know... Uh, any other version of time traveling that you've seen before, this is nothing like that. But it kind of does have time travel. But the thing is, it doesn't travel back. That's that's a we that's the weird thing. It's got a really good concept for what it uses time for, and how it portrays time is very bizarre. But it's bizarre in a good way. It's bizarre in a sense that. When, when you watch it and you figure out how, how the time traveling works, it blows your mind. And I look at this film and I look at it and I go, how the fuck did a film like this... Like, if this film had a better budget, if it was actually picked up by a major production company, if it had some really good name, known actors backing it up, this could have probably been a box office smash. That's my opinion. And... It's not. It's not even rated well. A lot of ratings have it very mid-range. It's very much, some people enjoy it, most people don't. And I do I do chalk that up to just being people who don't like B-movies and don't give B-movies a chance. Like, if you don't give B-movies a chance, then you're not going to really experience some really good filmmaking, some really good storytelling. And this is essentially a B-movie. I can't even deny it. It's, it's even could be considered lower than a B-movie. But to me, I feel like it deserves a little bit more. I feel like it deserves a, a, a lot more attention, first off. 
And I just feel like if more people gave it a chance, then maybe it could be something that's actually talked about because it's very unique. And I wish that more unique stories got more chances. There's another film on Netflix that I might do an entry for. It's called Circle. All it is is like a hundred people in a room and they have to choose who dies next. That's all the film is. It's an hour and a half of them going one by one with that. But it's about the psychology of that fact. And looking at a film like that and how simple it is, most people paid to see Buried, which was Ryan Reynolds in a box with a flashlight for an hour and 20 minutes. And maybe you liked that film, maybe you didn't. But if a film like that could get put into theaters, a film like Time Trap deserves to have more viewers. It deserves to have more people talking about it. And it deserves to have way more in in the sense of why why this film isn't an essential piece of time traveling in film mythology like why isn't this concept the concept that this film portrays why did it take a B movie to do this or why didn't anybody look at that script and go This is so unique, this is so original, and say, I need to put this in theaters because I guarantee you it's going to quadruple its budget. Even if the budget was a million dollars, if you made ten million dollars, that's a good profit. And I'm not saying that right now it's a ten million dollar movie, but it definitely deserves more attention than a lot of ten million dollar movies that we've been seeing. That's at least my opinion. I would say give it a shot. Again, I can't talk too much about it because I don't want to ruin too much of the film for you. The whole premise of a film like this is the discovery. It's watching the story unfold and trying to figure it out and realizing you're not going to figure it out. It's really one of those films that you're not going to figure out no matter how hard you try. And if you are interested in a film like that and you're dying for something to kind of give you that feeling, even if it's a B-movie... It's a great story, and if you're a person looking for that, I highly recommend that you give this film a shot. It's on Netflix, you can look it up, and I'm telling you, you will not regret it.